Great. Thank you for coming. Thank you thank so you. much for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us. And this is the very first episode of our AAA podcast. Wow, we are actually so honored to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. And you know what? Today we record the podcast, and tomorrow we're going to edit it and air it tomorrow. Oh my god, you guys are quick. Because、mm. the festival, yes, is on the day after tomorrow. Literally, yeah, yeah. it's on Saturday. So Jung is,、um, you know. Philippine. Yes. So in June of 2019, Canada、yeah. declared June as Philippine Heritage Month. Wow. So and you know we're just so happy to be able to celebrate it in person again with people because the last few celebrations were virtual and it was just not the same, of course. Yeah. So we're just happy to be able to do this again with everybody, and we are. This is actually the first、um, festival that. Will be held outdoors. Yeah, it's always been indoors, and I just feel like we need to be more like you know out in the public eye. For、basically. sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I literally forget to introduce our guest today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Because this is the very <laughs> first episode. So we have Mika. Yes. So I am Mika. I am the VP of the Filipino Cultural Society of Nova Scotia, and right here we have Alvaro. Or you can also call me Al. I am merely. Micah's almost like quasi assistant. Quasi, <laughs> quasi assistant. <laughs> yeah. So Al was kind enough to volunteer his time and help me in planning this、uh, yeah. festival. Yeah.、Okay. And I just like to say, like, thank you again, Micah, for having me help organize. No, and, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as she said like Philippine event and、um, Philippine festival, we really wanted to have the chance to highlight what our community brings, whether it be、yes. food. Music or even all around culture. So, as soon as she mentioned that, I saw to it as an opportunity that we can do this, and this event has lots of potential. So yeah, so again, like I'm really honored. So thank you. Thank you、Al. for helping me. <laughs> I was different. I was just you know before the podcast, I was like, I did everything. My God, I'm just partying. <laughs> yeah, apparently I was just partying in Vegas. But no, <laughs> I mean that's what. It, yeah. I'm not gonna, <laughs> It's not gonna sugarcoat it or anything. Yes, <laughs> this is the power of you know camera. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so this year, actually, so this is my first time being part of the Filipino any Filipino societies here in Nova Scotia. Same here. Yeah. Okay. So that's good. <laughs> But I feel like you know the past couple of years it was、um, being managed by like an older group. So、mm-hmm. this year we wanted to kind of bring in a more younger. Vibes. Group, of, yeah, younger yeah. members basically to you know make it more, more up to date. Or... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not a bad thing that mostly old people, older people, older <laughs> generation of people are organizing the event. It's just that because like they are a valuable group and for sure and organizing、yes. this because you know they've been here the longest. They know the Filipino community in Nova Scotia the longest.、Yes. Um, but I think besides like having a more fresh approach to a, like a Filipino event, a cultural event around town,、um, one of the things that we really wanted to branch into was involving the community of Halifax more, not、wow. just catering the Filipino community. Because if like for example, if you look at the Greek Fest or the Lebanese Festival, you don't only see Greek people there, you don't only see Lebanese people there. You、mm-hmm. see everyone. Everybody's represented.、Sure. And everybody's invited. And anybody who's met a Filipino or has been to the Philippines or is, you know, whatever way, brushed along Philippine culture, we really have that sense of hospitality and welcomingness, if that's a word. So, yeah, we just really wanted to bring that. It's just, you know, it's an event that we wanted not only for the Filipinos, but again, like for everyone. Yeah. That's amazing. And like when they、wow. told me to plan it, I was like, "I'm going bigger, going home. We're going to the garrison grounds."、Yes. Like I really wanted to be out there because the past few events have been indoors, and like it's been like it's in a venue. It's it's that nobody really kind of knows. Like、yeah. nobody knows about the event. Like, and every time I've told my friends about this event coming up on Saturday, they're、mm. like, "Oh, what? Like Filipino food? I've never had that." And I was、wow. like, "Well, this is it. This is your time. Like it's downtown. Like it's convenient for everybody. You know."、Mm. This is a great opportunity for local. For the local Halifax, yeah, to 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 you know see the、uh, sure. Philippine、uh, culture, exactly, and the food, yes, yes, definitely, yeah, yeah, and you know, I think you know,、uh, w- well said.、Um, I think as a minority、mm-hmm. society or community,、mm-hmm. you want to be more inclusive. Yeah, yes. that's a great role model for the majority. Mainstream, yeah. I mean, you like you know, yeah. We are minority, but we want to be inclusive. We invite、yes. you to join us.、Yes. So 
great G- great job yeah, yeah. yeah we're just excited i mean i really do hope it is yeah. a success because in the next coming years you know if this is a success we're gonna make it more than a one-day event wow. yeah. we want to push for maybe like a, like a, a the weekend, weekend or, right yeah, yeah. or even month. feature more yeah you know like oh, local businesses. <laughs> wow <laughs> culture <laughs> philippine culture month yeah but definitely it's something you know hopefully this event the philippine fest on saturday whatever success we find i hope people could see the filipino community here in halifax or in nova scotia be represented and see our potential and how you know basically for the lack of a better term know that we know how to party so yeah Sweet. oh yeah <laughs> you know um it's funny enough, you know, uh, I went to the flag raising event. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the mayor was there and the mayor was so, so happy. And the mayor literally said into the camera saying, you know, Philippine people are one of my favorite people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's a very big endorsement. I was so happy to hear that. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> right? That's, I, a, that's a tall order. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. What made your family move to Halifax? Oh, my God. Honestly, one day my mom was just like, we're moving to Canada. And wow. I was like, why where right <laughs> where? so she tells me we're moving to halifax and i was like i've never heard of that place right and then i look at the map and i'm like how the heck did you <laughs> find that place it is like at the tip of like yes. i don't know where yes. um and next thing you know like we're packing our bags and we're moving uh, my mom just thought that it just wasn't safe i guess at that time yes, and she just yes. wanted like us to move out yeah well i also like i don't know if i can vouch for your situation micah but like <laughs> in general like any immigrant story like you want to move to canada or north america u.s for a better opportunity in life mm-hmm. right so yeah. yeah did you find your better opportunity here yeah i'd for say sure. so definitely that's i get right. to i get to sit in a podcast in the yeah. front of like thousands of people <laughs> oh so God. that's not something i'd imagine to do so definitely yeah. and of course we're still happy to you know visit the philippines yes. but like i should get to enjoy it and go to the islands yes. and it's yeah. really nice to go yeah. back amazing i yeah. went back in 2018 so i didn't go you back did. for 10 years okay and i was basically a tourist in my own country and it was wow it was crazy a lot has changed for sure how did that feel um very nostalgic honestly like it was just i landed at the airport and i was just like obviously not used to like the traffic and the crowds and as soon as i got there i was like oh my god this car is way too close to our car (laughs) i was just panicking and my friends were just laughing at me like this is we're good like (laughs) it's so funny i think you know you know i'm you know i'm from china originally and you know i think asian people's idea of like personal space yeah is different oh (laughs) it's like that's like shorter to shorter, like that's fine. That's right? fine. Do, do yeah, you know what that's I mean? fine. Yeah, it's interesting. But here's like, you know, I yeah. want like two meters away. So, social distancing, right? Social yeah. distancing. That's very interesting. That was new to us, right? Yes. <laughs> I also find in Asian culture, mm. so if you ask anybody that, you know, whether it be your relatives or friends, they at least have one person who lives in the US or Canada, right? Yeah. And like, like the fact that we are the ones living in Canada or US, we become that designated person to ask yes. for like, hey, can you buy me this thing? Or like, can you send home this thing when we yeah. visit, right? You're yeah. the Wikipedia for Canada. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. All the relatives ask me to, like, all of those questions. Like, yeah. You know, it, it's funny, like, when, when before I moved to Canada, you know, I have, like, a pictured what Canada yes. is, yes. what Canadians are. Uh-huh. Um, do you have any? So, so when I moved in 2008, <laughs> yeah. you know, I came from an all-girls school, an all-girls Catholic school in the Philippines. Oh. And when my mom said that you are going to be in a co-ed school, I started panicking because all I could picture was High School Musical. Wow. And I, you know, like how everybody was yeah. like in groups and like, you know, the jocks, the yes. cheerleaders. And I completely thought it was going to be like that. But thank God I did not have <laughs> that experience. My experience was more chill and everybody got along. Mm. Yeah. So nope. thank God that yeah. was that was good. <laughs> not much drama happening. No, here. no, no drama for yeah. sure. How about you, Al? Well, when I did you move here? I moved here seven years ago this year now. Seven years. Ago. Oh, it's yeah. like it's like me, 2015. Yeah. Oh wow. wow, same year. I think my idea of Canada is pretty much as I've as I've read it because like growing up, I really like reading about different cultures and like traveling and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, it's almost everything as I expected it to be. Like I remember as soon as I moved here, like I was like, I was looking through my the win the the, the window of the plane. Like, the looking out the window of the plane I was in, 
um i was like seeing snow for the first time i was like wow like the snow is gonna cover all the mountains and stuff that's like that. interesting yeah, right? yeah there's no the, snow in philippines no, no we we're tropical, tropical. Wow. That yeah must be interesting. all year round <laughs> so yeah there's there's that and then like um i i feel like one of the like i, I like definitely in cult like in asian culture you don't get to say hi hello how are you and then ask what you need right you just yeah. say hi can you get me this yes, yes right yes. but then here it's like oh hi how's it going and like small talk yeah and then small I'm just talk like, i was like why is this person you need talking to, to lube me? Re- like <laughs> lube the conversation a little bit yeah and like i never you know like they said oh canadians are so nice and so they really are nice yeah. <laughs> like oh, yeah. when oh, i yeah. yeah no i can tell the difference like when i go to the states it's just completely different yeah but i never understood what's the biggest when they difference you, you find oh man canadian we know canadians apologize a lot like the housing the, market the <laughs> market. I think that's an issue everywhere yeah, now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But you know, we're developing. You know, we in, are developing right, for Halifax. sure. Halifax has changed. Yeah, so much. And Especially like coming from like a big city, so I came from Manila, the capital. Yes. Uh, moving here was you know it was very difficult because I was just used to the busy streets and everything. Yeah. So actually, when I landed here in Halifax in two thousand eight, it was. I think around like midnight, like 11, you know, wow. I was driving to, I think we had rented an apartment at that time. So on our way there, it was very foggy. And I was like, oh my God, where are we? And then, you know what I see? The IMAX sign up bears. Like, and I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, civilization, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot imagine like Halifax in 2008. Yeah, no, like compare right. it now. It's just like, wow. took a while for Halifax to get here. Yeah. But, well, finally, we're here. We're finally it's here. It's so multicultural recently. Yeah, that's what I really like about how In the recent five years, I yeah. see so many different faces, different colors yeah. of people. Yeah. That makes and me the feel restaurants, good. the choices right now, the options yes. that we have, expanding for yeah. sure. <laughs> so, um, do you know any history of Philippine uh, community in Nova Scotia or in Halifax? Mm, there's a couple of actually, there's actually a lot of Filipino like groups and societies here in Halifax. Cool. But the cultural society is the one who usually plans the big events. But they're everywhere. Like, there's so many. Like, I can't even keep track anymore. Mm -hmm. So, Micah, uh, were you born here? No. So, I actually was born in the Philippines. I was born in Manila. Wow. Um, I moved to Halifax in 2008. 2008. So, it's been a while. And back in 2008, the Filipino community here, it wasn't even big. Like, I think you can count them pretty much at that time. But now it's like, there's many now. Definitely. I was just going to say also, like, it's pretty recent, too, that um, Filipino restaurants became this much at this time, right? Like, yes. even if you look at five years ago, we only, you can, the amount of Filipino restaurants you can see or, like, estab- like the Filipino establishments that you would see, you can count it with one of your hands, basically. Yes. Yeah. 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 So it, it, it has come a long way, definitely. And in this event, obviously, we want to give the local Filipino restaurants here like a chance to, you know, exactly. get themselves out there. Because a lot of people don't know about them, which I really, this would be a really good opportunity for them now. Yes. So introduce a little bit more about the festival on Saturday. So, <laughs> Micah just looked at me for those listening in. Um, she gave me that desk there. Um, yeah. Basically, the Philippine Fiesta, we wanted to embody like everything the Philippines can bring, whether it be music, food, culture. And if you think about the Philippines, it's a ve- it's like almost like an island. So we want to, yeah. and we think about island, it's basically a party, right? So <laughs> you can ex- party. it's just like, you can, it's, it's a word association game is what I'm yes, saying. Yeah. But um, if we're talking specifically about the Philippine Fiesta event on Saturday, uh, there will be food, obviously, that's a must. That's the most Filipino thing you can think of. Because sure. um, almost... Almost in our culture, in the Filipino culture, food is a way of communicating. Like the first, the first time you see your relative, they ask you, "Have you? Are eaten? you hungry? Or are, are you hungry?" hungry? Right. Interesting. They so, will like feed you. <laughs> exactly. So you can't leave starved. Like you, you're gonna leave, you know, stuffed basically. Wow. Yeah. So there's gonna be lots of food. We're featuring um, Filipino business owners and establishments who are who are mo- are vending in the event on saturday mm. uh, we're also featuring cultural performances like with traditional dances like tinikling and sinulog right. um yeah I, I if you're people listening and i know you have to google that yeah. <laughs> but, um, we'll put the words on yeah. the subtitle google it yeah so yeah. um uh 
And for anyone who's grown up in the Philippines, uh, ev- almost every school has this thing called a family day, mm. which is like a day off uh, from the school year. It's usually held around February, which is like near summertime in the Philippines. Um, and essentially, it's it's like what we embodied the event to be. Like, it has the same thing. It has a program of like musical performances, raffles, giveaways. It's basically where you essentially go with your family or friends. Mm. And obviously there's going to be food. So that's essentially our family day. So we're kind of thinking about that yeah. as we were organizing. So we're event. bringing family day to Halifax. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. But, yeah. yeah, that's big. Yeah. So your mom, I saw your mom there. Yes. <laughs> your mom seems like very involved too. Yes. Yeah, so my mom know. is the honorary consul and she's been <sighs> for the past year now, I believe. But yeah, she likes it. You know, she likes to be able to help the Filipino community here. What's your favorite restaurant in Halifax? Oh, that is a hard question. (laughs) That's on my list. I'll have to think about that. How about you, Al? Oh my gosh. (laughs) Yeah. I think my answer, like the most, you know, Asian answer you can say is at home, right? Yeah. Because your parents grow up telling you like, you know, there's food at home, save your money. That's cheating. I know, but... (laughs) But then, like, if you think about it, like, I, I find, like, uh, like for example, if my friends ask me, what's the best place to get Filipino food? And your answer autom- automatically is, like, at home. Because like, you make it at home. At home. Um, yeah, I can't think of an answer. There's so many restaurants I have yet to try and have tried. What's your favorite restaurant for this month? Oh. For this month? Oh, my goodness. You um, guys are hard to ask. I know. I'm Tricky. thinking. Did you get some, like, media training somewhere before? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> like, that's kind of how Al and I met. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only media training I got is, like, when, you know, like, when you're driving, you pretend like you're in an interview. You're just like, oh, yeah, like, stuff like that. Like, you think about these conversations in your head <laughs> while you're by yourself. So wow. I think that's as much as media training as I got. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, favorite yeah. restaurant. So restaurant. Back to the restaurant. question. Restaurant. Restaurant. Honestly, I really mm. like, I know this is very basic, but like the Bicycle Thief. Yeah. The Bicycle Thief and the Mono, like that that group, like yeah. they're very consistent with their food all the time. So I really enjoy that. Amazing. But Italian cuisine, like I love Indian food as well. Oh, yes. Um, rasa. The I love Rasa. Yeah, Rasa's Yes, great. Rasa's really yeah. great. Yeah. Okay, Al. Okay, I think I have an answer. Okay. Just like for this month. For this month. Just chicken in Bedford Highway. Chicken? Korean fried chicken. Oh my god, What's I... What's it called? Chicken? chicken. It's like it's, a chicken. It's a cool concept. It's called Chick King. Yeah. And you look at their menu, there's chicken. a chicken knight, chicken queen, oh. chicken... Yeah. So, chicken Korean king. fried There's also chicken. chicken chop. I thought that was oh, the same yeah. thing. Chicken. <laughs> chicken. Yeah, yeah it's but, Korean like fried chicken. Yeah, so shout yeah. out, shout out chicken on Bedford Highway. Hi, Heian. Um, <laughs> uh, free wow. commercial, free yeah, commercial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're very good. Like it's especially like, you know, like in I asked my uh, my friend who's Korean. He told me that you just eat the chicken by itself. That's how they do it in Korea. But then like Filipinos, they're gonna eat that with rice. Rice. So, oh, interesting. We eat rice. With yeah. Everything. So I get takeout. <laughs> Literally, the last time I was there with my friend, I brought like a Tupperware of rice yeah. with me. <laughs> That's as Filipino as I can get. Um, <laughs> but yeah, or just have it takeout, eat it at home. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, That's great. That's my favorite restaurant as of this month. Oh, this one. Okay. Okay, yeah. but Will, what's your favorite restaurant? <laughs> ah, it's the, as of this month. As of this month. Yeah. I think as of this month. I know. I know how. I, it's right hard, now, isn't I know it? It's yeah, hard. it's really yeah. hard. I think as of this month, Will's going to go to the Philippine Fiesta on Saturday and be like, and he'll have an answer by then. And that will be my Yeah, that will be right. <laughs> street food is my favorite. Oh, yeah. And you guys going to present like street food filling? But I mean, like, yes, especially like the most popular one here in Halifax, they know it as street meat. It's yeah. on Pizza Corner. Wow. But somehow all yes. our vendors want to sell it at the festival. So we're going to have like four different kinds, probably. So you have yeah. to try each and every one. Yes. And narrow it down what you find is the best. Yes. Um, and once you find it's the best, they can fight over it. So be like, no, ours is the best. Like, it's like that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so the street meat. Yes. That, that little restaurant on Pizza uh, at Pizza corner pizza corner that's philippine yes yes that's that's Filipino. why that's so yeah that's so good when i found out people called it street meat i mean they're not wrong but then like what we call it is like barbecue in the Mm. philippines when you say barbecue it's that it's that it's that pork yeah Uh, it's that pork skewer that's charred on the open grill and stuff like that um but yeah like i didn't know people referred to it as street meat here i just knew it yeah. as barbecue interesting but it yeah was, yeah so when you, say, <laughs> you see, when you say barbecue in canada they think about like you know you're grilling a burger or like yeah. grilling a rack of ribs or something 
in the Philippines, when, you th- when we say barbecue, it's that. It's that. Yeah. It's that. Yeah. Interesting. I think every Haligonian between 19 to oh, 30 yeah. have tried They've that. They've had street mm-hmm. made for they, sure. They have been drunk yeah. on Argyle Street. And I've then... seen Halloween costumes dressed as yeah. that wow. stand. That <laughs> That's amazing. So he, is he going to be there? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the vendor you mean. The vendor. Oh, um, yes. we were not able to get him for this, this event. Okay. But we are going to have an event in December for mm. Christmas because we love to celebrate Christmas as well. So awesome. we will try to get them for that event for, for sure yeah. amazing yeah, yeah yes. our, like we work so hard i feel like we definitely just calm everyone come on yeah but we just like we really do hope like it you know everybody shows up and just like have fun I, despite the weather i mean mm. like we just have to look at the bright side yeah and yeah. i feel like, like it's so filipino too to like have a rain or shine mentality yeah yeah literally like especially because the philippines it rains a lot too even though people might think it's so sunny yeah but mm-hmm. yeah wow Okay. It definitely come out. <laughs> yeah, definitely come out on Saturday. I think mm-hmm. that, you know, it's not too bad. It's one It won't millimeter. be too oh bad. Like, I think yeah. you yeah. guys can survive that. Yeah, you, you don't can. have to spend a whole day there. <laughs> yeah. You could just go in, just pop in. get yeah. some lunch, try some yeah. Filipino food. Because if you think about it, everybody in Halifax who's listening, or Nova Scotia for the matter, yeah. or anybody visiting, excuse me, my voice just cracked. <laughs> 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 like these Filipino restaurants are located all around HRM. Mm. This is one of the days you can get it in one location right oh, so yeah. all the more reason you should come by and swing and, and swing by and be like okay i've always wanted to try this restaurant but i didn't want to make my way to bedford or dartmouth yeah. or yes. so on and so forth and so, a lot of them are yeah in bedford and dartmouth so dartmouth. Yeah. yeah getting them all in one place downtown halifax very central like i think everybody so, should make yeah. their way over there yeah so don't stay yeah. at home and just yeah don't stay at home no. This Come is, try Filipino food. Yeah, yeah. So you will not regret it. <laughs> yeah, you will not regret it. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have a parade. Yes. Oh right. Yeah. Let's talk about the events at the schedule. Yeah. Let's yes. let's do the schedule. Let's do that. So at 11 a.m. there will be a parade around the Citadel Hill. Wow. Which probably won't take an hour, maybe like 20, half an hour, maybe. Mm. And then everybody will just make their way to Garrison Ground. And gates will open at 12. 12 p.m. Amazing. Just in time for lunch. Yeah. How convenient. So how to purchase the ticket? <laughs> so um, on our Instagram page, um, we have left tickets at multiple Filipino restaurants Sweet. where people can purchase them and buy there. But you can buy some from Al and I as well. Yeah. And of course, you can buy them at the door as well. Sweet. Yes. Oh, I just awesome. forgot to mention our Instagram is at Philippine Fiesta Halifax. That's at Philippine Fiesta Halifax. Are we going to put like one of those font things yeah. in front of us? <laughs> or put the, scan the QR code below. Just scan yeah. the QR code below. So yeah, yeah, we left them at those restaurants. You're more than welcome to buy it. And they're, they're $5 per admission. And uh, $10, uh, excuse me, kids aged 10 years and under yeah. will Are be free, free. entrance. Yes. Okay? That's great. Um, so if you have and, like Oh, and here's this, another thing. Al, I yeah. haven't told you this, but please bring cash. Oh, yes. yes. Bring cash. Yes. Yeah. And I remember my question now. Yes. So I've been, you know, I've learned, I've learned, I keep learning about different cultures. There's yes. so many cultures in, in Asia. I mean, the Asian, was it Asian Heritage Month? Yeah, in May. And that just happened in that May, right? Happened. So yeah. I got, you know. It's nonstop for you. <laughs> What's next month? We're keeping you in next business. Month, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, um, yes. <laughs> There's so many cultures in Asia yeah. and I get to you know learn that keep learning and mm-hmm. I have a question for yeah for the Philippine Philippine culture so what's the difference between the Philippine with PH and the Philippine with F oh, oh, Philippine with F. <laughs> so the country Philippines yeah also fun fact the Philippines was named after King Philip of Spain hence how that's how we got the name Philippines interesting um because the Philippines historically was colonized for over 300 years uh by by spain after that was the americans for at least like 50 years Mm -hmm. um but the difference between the ph and the f is that the official denonym of the country philippines Mm -hmm. is philippine so you don't say philip you know filipino mango because like when you say filipino with an f Mm -hmm. it's referring to usually a person okay Okay. upon my, my last um research. research so you guys might fact check me okay <laughs> okay um but that is how it is yeah but yeah so uh when you when you're referring to like a thing it's usually like philippine like that's the that's a denonym for it like a ph yeah mm-hmm. philippine mm. when you say filipino or filipina that's mm. the 
person. Uh, it's re- mostly yeah. re- referring to a person. I knew that. And Filipina is for female. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But yes. also just, the, it's also been recognized recently that there is a Philippine X too. Oh. Uh, for, for uh, I believe it's for gender non-conforming as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That, Philipp- yeah, that's good. Also, yeah. there's two other terms too, which is colloquial. Uh, when you refer something from the Philippines, we also say this thing called Pinoy. Pinoy, yeah. Uh, which uh, there's also a Philippine, uh, like a, a, a feminine, I also said which Philippine, is which is Pinay. Pinay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So it's so, Filipino, Pinoy. Filipina, Pinay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's great. So f- let's, you know, summarize this. So the country's name is the Philippines. Yes. yes. Right. With, with a PH. With a PH. Yes. Because yes. it's not describe a person. Yes. And if we describe, for example, Philippine Philippine beer and Philippine mango. Philippine, Philippine, yeah. Yes. And that's with a, a PH. PH. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. So you like you you are Philippine no yes. Filipina. Yes. Yes. People. Good job, Will. That's amazing. <laughs> with with F. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> or Pinoy and Pinay. Pinoy There's Pinay. that too. Yeah. 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 That's, that's the more colloquial. Yeah. Oh, that solves my question. Sure. Solves my. Uh, question. You're making me work for my my grammar. <laughs> yeah. <and> like, <laughs> My it's Filipi- fun. My Filipino teacher is gonna watch this one of these days. Be like, oh, no, I did not say that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I know Micah can't speak another language, like your hometown. Yes. Right? So I can speak Tagalog, which is one of like the many, many languages in the Philippines. They have so many wow. dialects. Mm-hmm. So my mom, let's say, is she's from a different province. Um. So she speaks another language or dialect called Bisaya. Bisaya. So I can speak that as well. Interesting. Yes. How so about I you, speak Al? Tagalog and Visaya. Yeah. So I can speak English. English is my first language. Yeah. I, I say English is my first language just because I can speak more English than I would Filipino, but I am fluent in Filipino Tagalog. Yes, I'm pa Tagalog. So yes. yeah, I can speak English, <laughs> Filipino, uh, Japan, Francais aussi. Wow. Um, so I speak a little bit of Spanish, but my Spanish is malo. And also... I'm still learning sign language. So yeah. Wow, that's amazing. I know, yeah. yeah. Showing off. We know. <laughs> okay. I'm not the best, but you know, we gotta learn. Best. No, you're the best. That's great. <laughs> so let's say, for example, uh, you use your um, mother tongue to say, like, mm-hmm. for example, Atlantic Asian Adventure. How do you say that? Oh God, that's actually a hard one. It's well. hard. <laughs> well, let's call this. Yeah, let's get that <laughs> hard. Just... But oh, let me just tell yeah, you because, yeah. like hmm. Will had just mentioned about the, the history of the Philippines, and so we were colonized by the Spaniards for like three hundred years, right? Mm. So our language is very similar to Spanish. Interesting. Oh, like a lot of our words are like in Tagalog are like literally Spanish. Yeah. Like, wow. So you know how in Spanish, "How are you?" is "Cómo estás." And in Tagalog, you'd say, Kamusta. Oh. See, Kamusta, Kamusta. And just like, yeah, a lot, a lot of the words are yeah, literally I'm, the same. And I find like uh, another like thing that people have like a misconception of, mm. again, because we're talking about culture, it's not always like it's black and white. It's, yeah. you know, you want to look at this through like a different lens. But like the Philippines is, there's a lot of English words and English speaking people in the Philippines. Mm. Like, um, like, for example, like you can, you can say, uh, three thousand something in Filipino, but most likely people are just gonna say it in English, yeah. right? Wow. Or like even Atlantic Asian Adventure, like that's a that's a that's a pronoun. So yeah. like I feel like if you say uh, I'm going to the Atlantic Asian Adventure in Filipino, you can say pupunta ako sa Atlantic Asian Adventure, and yes, people still yes. get it, right? They just yeah. kind of mix it up. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yes, yes. Yeah. Interesting. So yeah. we call that Taglish, I think. Yeah, we call it Taglish. It's a mix between Tagalog and English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's that's literally what everybody like. <laughs> it's funny, like it's me. It, it's like me sometimes right now because yeah. I missed uh, Mandarin and English yeah. right now. And when I speak to people, um, I mix with. If I speak to the mix... ma- Mandarin, yeah, I speak Mandarin and English because yeah. I find some words is easier to speak English. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, I I don't know. People may think easier to understand. Yeah, you idiot or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. And in school, we're taught in English. What do you call it? Yeah, the like, language like of... it's, it's like for example, if you go, if you like, at least in my experience, like growing mm-hmm. up in, if you learn about science or biology, like you'd say cell wall or plant cell. That's all in English. It's yeah, not, we're, there's no we're Filipino being taught version in English. Yeah. 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 It's very international. Yeah. Yeah. Country. Yeah. 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 That's great. The Philippines is very rich in culture. Like, mm-hmm. you know, um, if you look at different provinces. There's many different cultures that are very different from like the the Filipino people you might think of, mm. and also 
um, like for example, the southernmost part of the Philippines, which is Mindanao, that region, mm-hmm. there's also like an Islamic population present in the Philippines. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so the Philippines is a mishmash of almost everything. That's great. Yeah. There's yeah. even like a Chinese Filipino culture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, in yes. the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Very big. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah. So in Atlantic Canada, mm-hmm. where's your favorite place? Mm. Mm. I oh. really like Cape Breton. Cape Breton. Yeah. Interesting. Like. Why? I just love it there. Well, I've only gone there during the fall. Oh, it's the and best place. And I think the that's best self-explanatory, best. Yeah. but yeah. like fall in Cape Breton is just like the most beautiful thing. Yes. Like P- perfect weather as well. It's just so nice. Cabot Trail. Cabot Trail. Yeah. And yeah. we, when I went there last fall, I went glamping. Oh, what's glamping? <laughs> glamping is like glamorous camping. Oh, it's like glam. not your usual, you know, camp like okay. set up a tent thing yeah. it's all there you have a shower toilet okay glamping <laughs> okay so not too wild not too wild okay interesting but it's it's so fun cool yeah how about you al i said home under my breath <laughs> home probably in Atlantic canada <laughs> i probably say like the beaches around nova mm. scotia mm-hmm. like the philippines you can't go wrong there's so many beaches in the philippines yeah. um i'd still go to the beach here even if the water is freezing, no matter what season it is, just because um, I feel like being in the ocean just like is really nice. Cool. Yeah. Which just beach like, is your favorite? Um, it's hard to choose one because I've only ever. Off. Yeah, I didn't realize there's so many. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think a couple years ago I went to Carter's Beach. Yes. And it is like so... I've been there once. I've never been back. Yeah. But I think it's still in my head. I'm just like, I need to go back. My, it was so nice. I'd say my favorite one, I don't know the name, but mm. uh, I went there when I went around Cape Breton. Okay. And um, it was really nice. Like, um, you can see, like, mountains, like, cliff sides. And, yeah, I can look at it in my head right now, but then I yeah. don't remember the name. So I can't call it my favorite if I don't know yeah, the name. Yeah, because there's so many beaches. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice beaches here. Yes. Right? Nice, yeah. yeah. Mm, sweet. So what's your, what's your favorite... Asian artist, if you have one. Ooh, that's oh, that's hard. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, I actually know Al's already. Yeah? <laughs> Who is it? No, no, no. Who, you go ahead. That? You. This is you. Who this do you is think you. my favorite Asian uh, artist is? I actually don't know. You don't? Um. Well, this, lately, I've been listening to Mitski. She's very talented. Um, Asian artist. I really like Rina Sawayama as well. Cool. She's very, very talented. Um... Bruno Mars. People don't know Bruno I Mars is actually half Filipino. Yeah, I know that. Oh, yeah. you do? I do. I yeah. do know oh, that. I yeah. love him so much. He's amazing. Yeah. He's like know. half retired right now. He's, he's like he's my super uncle. after Super Bowl. He's your uncle? Yeah. Yeah. How? <laughs> <He's not>. <laughs> <laughs> People say we look He is like not retired. Him. He actually has a show in Vegas. Yeah. He has a okay. residency Michael in Michael would know. She's always in Vegas. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so he yeah. used to like perform solo and stuff, but now he uh, has a residency in Vegas with Anderson Pack. Oh, that's amazing. It's called Silk Sonic. Wow. Um, oh my god, yeah, but I've seen Bruno Mars like when he was in concert, like solo artist. Wow. And so did I. just the way he just the way he like he performs, it's yeah. just like unreal. Yeah. Like he's just so fun. I know. Like he was meant to perform. He's like a performer. Yeah, oh, he's, he's like a natural. Yeah. Like unreal. I'd say also Olivia Rodrigo. She's very bumping right now. Yeah. yeah. Who, she's also she's also half, half Filipina. Filipina. Yeah, I, Filipina. Like Filipina. I yeah. have no idea. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. How about you, Micah? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're saying Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars is my favorite. Okay. I yeah, love him that, so much. That's a pass. I love him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So which Asian country you want to travel to? I would Ooh. say, like, mm. do you have an answer? Because I do. I think Micah has a good answer. Because Ma- Micah, you know, travels a lot, right? You must I've have like a plan. I've traveled a lot. But honestly, I really, you know, when I lived in the Philippines, I didn't really... It was so weird. I didn't get to travel around Asia. Uh, I only went to Hong Kong because yeah. my mom loves uh, the <laughs> Chinese food and like the oh, shopping in Hong Kong. Yes, it's amazing. But th- that was the only like, you know, that was the only place we went to. But then, you know, when I went back in 2018, mm-hmm. after 10 years, um, we were able to go to Japan and Korea, oh. which was amazing. But if you'd ask me what country I want to go to next in Asia, I would probably say... Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. Wow. And Bali. Oh, yes. yeah. Indonesia. Yeah. Indonesia, Indonesia, for Indonesia. sure. Yes, yes. I mean, everybody says that's like, oh, that's for like, you know, where people go for their honeymoon. I'm like, I don't care. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going by myself. Yes, yes. I saw pictures there. It's just amazing. So nice. Yeah. yeah. Ow. 
my the a country I would visit to if I in Asia. Mm. There's so many. So like many. like like Micah, I did go grow up growing up I did go to Hong Kong a lot. Mm-hmm. Um ask any Filipino. Most of the times the first place they've been to Hong is, Hong is like Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah. Wow. Either that or Singapore. Yeah. Or Japan or yeah, Korea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I definitely wanna visit China. Yeah. Um I've yet to see like the Great Wall and all that. Yeah. Like China's very rich in culture. Like I've learned so much from like, you know, my friends who are Chinese. I learned so much from you as well. Like yeah. Um, you know, just to be able to soak up how different life is there mm. and, you know, basically the overall culture in China. That's, yeah. that's definitely something I'd want to see and witness and eat lots of food, too, of course. Yeah, um, <laughs> definitely. That's I, something in common, like in Asian food, culture yeah. is the food. It's yeah, just amazing. Definitely. Mm. I'd like to visit um, the Maldives. Maldives. Yeah. Cool. However, you again, it. honeymoon, honeymoon location. Place. <laughs> um definitely want to visit indonesia mm. i like everywhere like thailand oh, yeah thailand yeah. Oh, yeah. um and the fruits. south korea south korea is a very hip place yeah. yeah yeah bts fans out there yeah, yeah. <laughs> i love bts that's why i said south korea yeah, yeah shout out to anybody who's feeling sad about the hiatus, the hiatus. Yeah, they're they, gonna be back. i don't know if you would know I, about that well no what, what bts just announced that they're going to have a hiatus but they promised their fans that they're gonna they, come they're, back. they're gonna come back. back yeah wow interesting i was a little sad about that yeah i was a little no he was like i was like what am i gonna do in life now like oh my god <laughs> Are you that into BTS? Like, oh, they're big. I, I really love and appreciate BTS. Yes. Like, um, because I find, like, in the Western world especially, when an Asian act makes it big in the Western world, it's usually like a meme. Like, you know, like, if you look at Psy, like, Gangnam yeah, Style. Right? Yeah. Oh. That's, like, like, he's really a musician. He's He owns his own label and stuff. Psy owns his own label stuff in Korea. Yeah. But then here it's, like, kind of, like, silly, like, memeable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know... I feel like it, we see so much of that side in Asian culture and Asian artistry in yeah. the Western world. But then when you have artists like BTS who are so talented, who, who you know, get up and sing and dance and have their own projects and, you know, know how to rap, know how to write their own music, know how to produce. And the message that they put out, like, you know, loving yourself, being yourself. And I feel like that I'm getting chills just talking about BTS. Oh my God, he's but, like ambassador. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. But yeah, that yeah, I feel like if anyone were to go number one or mm-hmm. like have this much coverage in the Western, definitely BTS, BTS. deserves it. Yeah. You know, they, they're just, also so humble. They are. They're and, just yeah. so down to earth. They, like, like wow. just like last month, they met President Biden and then yeah. they spoke in the UN multiple times. Interesting. Like, yeah. yeah. Wow. So, you know, when I was a kid, we. We know so, we're so influenced by the K-pop culture in yeah. China. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, especially my city in Qingdao. Okay. okay. So we're like so close, and you know, I I know so many K K-pop artists, but BTS are I think BTS is the first group that's popular in yeah, like a group like popular popular else. in yeah. the Western world, yeah. which is big. Yeah. Mm. They mm. blew up and they let it like dynamite basically. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. You, like you... when I went to Korea for the first time, I didn't like you know the whole K-pop thing. Yeah. I went to this little town called Itaewon, Itaewon, right? And that's where like all um, I went there, and like they were like um, street performers and stuff. Wow. And it, it was just so big there. Like people actually go there to perform for all these people, and I think that's just kind of you know they want to make it big. Yes. You know? Yeah. They're so inspired by like BTS, of course. Yeah. The industry yeah. Was, yeah. is big there. Yeah. Like K dramas. Can we talk K-dramas. about K dramas? I've don't heard. Even get me I don't know. Like, on that. Uh, we have to talk with you know South Korean people yeah. about the K dramas. <laughs> I have heard. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Like a lot of uh, you know, for example, like family moms, they kind of you know take take care of the kids, and uh, some of them don't go to work. They just write the stories of for the K dramas. So really? they're like they're the authors for the K dramas. Wow! It's the moms that. Wow! Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, don't know I could right. see. I could see how that's true. Honestly. Yeah. What's well, your favorite so show? K drama. Yeah. I really like It Takes One Class. It Takes One Class. It Takes One Class. Um, the startup. Mm. Crash landing on you. I feel like cool, those are my cool, top cool. three. Awesome. Yeah. Do Do you watch K dramas? Um, not as much as I should. Like the last <laughs> Korean series i've seen with squid game Mm -hmm. and i was kind of late to the the, you know to the hype yeah exactly like it was it was blowing up like last year fall and i've only watched it fully um early this year yeah so that's the last thing i've watched yeah 
It's a good show. Oh, it's so yeah. good. They just released it. I mean, they just announced that there is a season two. Oh, look yeah. forward to that. Yeah. It's I, amazing. But one observation I did have with, like, with, like, Netflix and, like, Hollywood in general, I find, like, most of the stuff we see here is, like, sequel, reboot, or, like, prequel, or spinoff, right? Mm. And it's only now more coverage on, like, Korean dramas are being shown, right? Because yeah. I feel like more people are open to, like, listening to this uh this you know stories from this side of the world too mm-hmm. so i think it's pretty great yes that's great mm-hmm. so what's the asian stereotype that you guys want to break <laughs> where do we start there's so many, <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> I, th- I like this question i lot. think like i think the, the do you have anything before i say anything <laughs> no no you take this <laughs> <laughs> i think people believe that you know it's almost like a model minority myth that you know all asians are smart all asians are like this all asians are permissive like i feel like that's very harmful Mm. in a way um because it's high expectations Mm -hmm. high expectations Mm -hmm. and like people think it's like you know it's, it's hard to give an answer to because again like culture and like how you see people shouldn't be looked at in black and white by any means Mm. um it's it's a hard question yeah because you know all asians are smart like if you're not smart enough to like oh for example if you are smart and then say, and people will think oh you should be like that mm. it's nothing to do with your hard work yeah oh do you know mm. what i mean yeah. they just erase all the hard work you put on yeah yeah or or like i i find i don't know about you but i, I find it like um Oh yeah, you're Filipino. Then definitely you're hardworking immediately. It's like, it's like you're comparing. That's hard. Right? That's toxic. Or yeah, and also if you're Filipino, it's like, especially like, oh, are you in nursing? Are you a <laughs> nurse? Or like, or <laughs> is your parent God. like a always? Nurse? Are you in nursing? Oh, no. no. Or like, not yeah. everybody. Or they, yeah. I think like they think that you're, you know, your family, your parents are like overseas Filipino workers or something like that. Like, yeah. Like I feel like with any stereotype, really, you don't want to, you know, have any prejudice or like you don't want to presume anything so mm-hmm. i feel like it's a hard you can't i can't put like a finger to it like really mm-hmm. but yeah or even like oh i think i think this is something you can answer like what's like a stereotype you want to break in like in terms of like an asian stereotype that you want to break in terms of, like in the dating world like what would you say in the dating world yeah that's interesting what do you mean because yeah. i find like isn't it like most people want to marry an Asian person because, like, they're like you know, they're also like you know, permissive. I'm just like, that's kind of weird. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, well, no comment. Uh, no comment. Silence. <laughs> yeah, no comment. On that. <laughs> Micah. What? Any stereotype you want to break? No, I mean that. That's it. Literally. That's a lot. Yeah. There's I mean, like a lot. I think we face enough with our Asian parents. <laughs> like that's yeah. that itself. But you know, something about Asian parents are true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think, like, (laughs) that we, uh, like, an Asian stereotype. um, I think, like, language, too. Like, oh, your English is so good, and, like, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm facing that, like, 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 how bad should I, should my English be? Is it supposed to be bad? Yeah, right. (laughs) Or, like, um, or if you're from, you know, you clearly look different, but then they ask you where you're from. Yeah. Where you're really from. And then they've been born there for, like, they're, like, third generation immigrants or something like that. Like I, f- yeah. Where are you, yeah, I where, are, where are you really, really from? We need we need to <laughs> talk to us. We factually? need to talk to a sociologist. It's like I, I don't think again. Like by any means, I don't think I'm uh, like I'm the best person to ask about stereotypes and stuff like that. But that's just what I think, and yeah. that's what I yeah find. yeah. That's cool. I think you know to bring to bring the festivals mm-hmm. to Halifax. Like what are you guys doing can't help to break those. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, because yeah. you know I think as long as we. You know, people are on a human level, one to one, and to talk and communicate. Mm-hmm. Those things can, you know, can be gone. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I feel like it's like almost what I said earlier. Like, don't assume and don't be don't be prejudiced. Like, treat everyone like an open heart, open mind. Yeah. I didn't say that earlier, yeah. but I'm saying that now. But yeah. yeah, that's good. Just be kind to everyone. Yeah, just be <laughs> kind to everyone. Awesome, awesome. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> we can talk more about we fiesta. Covered stuff. Like, we covered a lot. We covered a lot. Oh right, yeah. right. Oh my god, where were we? Fiesta stuff. We're talking stuff. about fiesta. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. So parade at eleven AM. <laughs> Gates open at twelve. Uh we have opening remarks. Um uh my mom will be speaking, so the honorary council, 
Minister Balser is also going to be speaking. Perfect. The president of FCSNS, CAF, will also wow. be speaking. So that's how we are going to start, obviously alongside the national anthem of yeah. um, the Philippines and Canada. Um, and then we will have the performances. Yeah. Yes. I've heard Al going to sing two songs. <laughs> I cannot wait I for that. <laughs> what do you mean? I hope he's thinking of backing out. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Which two songs are you going to sing? I don't know. You guys, you guys just have to go there and see it. Ooh. Good. Awesome. And buy the tickets, too. Element of surprise, everybody. Yes. Like to keep that there. The surprise is I'm not performing. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no I kidding. came here to see Al. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is the mayor going to be there? Oh, uh, hmm. <laughs> we don't know. He'll email us again. Yeah. yeah, no, he just announced that he did test positive for COVID. So mm. it is already on Saturday and it is Thursday. Thursday, today, yeah. We so. hope he's recovering yeah. well. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully he's, he's kind okay. of, he's very sweet. He's a busy man. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, he must have been exposed to, like, obviously a lot of people in yes. the past couple of days. So that poor guy well, you know he's so nice he's so he's nice so sweet. yeah <laughs> i'm sorry i just had to ask you like okay. what is something you're looking forward to this saturday in the philippine fiesta i think <sighs> or what do you expect to see mm. yes yeah. so um the thing i look forward to the most is the food and performance food and okay performance. Yes. yes because you know i need to learn more yeah. about filipino yeah. culture yeah philippine sure. culture yeah um because you know Asia is big. I just have to say Asia is so big, yeah. and we're surrounded yeah, by you know sure. so many cultures, and it's great. And um, I think the food can introduce how people uh, live and how, pe how people's taste mm -hmm. and people's mm -hmm. culture. And the performance represent the arts, right? Arts, yes, yeah, for sure. And I can, and I want to meet more uh, Filipino people. Yeah, mm, for sure. For more Filipinos. Um, yeah. And I'm excited for you to see one of the performances, which is Tinik Kling. Um, I heard recently from one of the organizers of the program that it will be interactive and people will get to try. Wow. I'm not going to spoil it, but people will get to try Tinik Kling. You're going to have to Google that because I'm not going to spoil anything. Yeah, yeah. But it's, yeah. it's going to be fun. Tinik Kling is T-I-N-I-K-L-I-N-G. Awesome. awesome. Yes. Google that. Yeah. I've never that. tried it myself no? just because I am like, whoa, that is too much for me. Interesting. You don't, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to keep it there. And yeah. Interesting. I'm going to try it. I'd like to see we'll try it. That, <laughs> yeah. It sounds scary, but yeah. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Well, I think this is it. Yeah. This, this is, is amazing. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Wow. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for Thank having you. us. Yeah. Sweet. I was like, oh, I don't want to be on this. I'm so not prepared. <laughs> and then he's very nice. First episode <laughs> yes. for this series. For this series. Yeah. Is it oh actually? My oh my are we setting God. a bar? Oh we? We, we have our already photos printed. <laughs> printed. Thank you, Esther. So, okay. I'll let our guest to sign on it. Wow. And then we're going to frame that. That's so cute. Oh, is it the same photo? photo? It's the same photo. Do you want to sign first? Yeah. You should sign first. Oh, I sign yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh, yeah. do you want to give like a Filipino word of the day or something while we're here? Yes, yes. Oh, um. Because I got one in mind. Like, you, you should go first. I me? like that. Yeah. Um. Words of the day. So there's two words. Words? Two words? Like, I have one. If it's not the same one as what you're okay. thinking, then. Okay. Yeah. Well, Let's I do think that. I know what you're thinking. What are you thinking? BTS. What are you thinking? <laughs> it's words of the day. BTS. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. I'm just joking. Um, like what's like a Filipino word? Okay, well, word I mean, you know what? People? I will teach you guys for the festival. I'm gonna teach you thank you. The word thank you in Tagalog is salamat. Salamat. Yes, salamat, salamat. which means thank you. Thank you. So that's oh. an important word. I mean, yeah. you know, when you get your food, just say salamat. Salamat. Yeah. And I'm sure they will appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Al? What's oh, the that word? was it. That was I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> We can think of like other words. Well, like, there's also this word, and it's mabuhay. Mabuhay. You can explain that. It's almost like what aloha is to Hawaii is to Philippines. Mm -hmm. Like it's it can be you know welcome, welcome. hello, or like hello, or like, or like 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 long live or like yeah yeah all the good things. Yeah, it's like mm. even when you say aloha. Okay. It's like mabuhay. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's our version. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Those two words. Those two use, words, and you're good. Use those uh, on Saturday. Yeah, you can be like, Kamusta, mabuhay. Salana. You know, if this was a late night show, I'd be teaching you other words. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to get there. <laughs> yes. Maybe next show. Maybe next show. We'll, yeah. have, we'll have a, 
uh, what is it? A triple A after triple hours. A, yes. Quadruple A. Quadruple <laughs> A A A after. After yeah, hours. Yes. We we we'll welcome you guys come here when Christmas time is coming. Yeah, for sure. Because you're yeah. gonna have another of event. Of course. Yeah, yeah, and I hope that event will. That's definitely gonna be indoors probably because it's gonna be winter. Yeah, hopefully, I mean, yeah. hopefully you'll have me back again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I know, it's gonna be a big event. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Silent. Oh right, yeah, that's what silent. I was doing. Yeah. You know, I used to be a singer when I was in China. Really? Yeah. So yeah. we can sing together. I can sometime. sing. I can oh. sing in Chinese. You can sing uh, Chinese. Super no. idol in the China. Oh China. my god. <laughs> I know the. the <gasps> oh, oh, that's all I know. Yeah, oh, this is great. This is amazing, Al. You're like a. He's like a, a language genius. Yeah, yeah, he really is. That's like a high expectation for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Asians are smart. Uh, Asians are smart. Yeah, <laughs> all of us. All of us. <laughs> yeah. I all right. All <laughs> this is uh, amazing. Thank yeah. you guys so much. Thank you so much for having yeah. us. Yeah. And please, please, please follow Micah and Elle's Instagram here and my if you have another <laughs> <laughs> time. Uh, and go to the festival on Saturday and we'll yes. see you there. Like we'll mine. see you at the Philippine Fest on Saturday. Yes. Oh, I would just like one last parting word for the Philippine community. Yes. Okay. So, oh, ingat means yeah. like take, take care. care. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Inga. Ingat. Ingat. Yes. yes. Wow. So, are we going to say goodbye? Yes. Three, ingat. two, one. Ingat. 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 <laughs>